two videos in a row relating to YouTube drama. Fun. Well, this is a subject I've been wanting to talk about for a while, but since all this PewDiePie stuff has come out, about, you know, PewDiePie versus the media, I figured, you know, it's a good opportunity to talk about this. Um, so, if you've been living under a rock, the Wall Street Journal claimed PewDiePie is a Nazi and an anti-Semite because he made a joke. Well, he, he didn't really make the joke. He went on some website and he paid some people $5 to write death to all Jews on a sign. And then they say, subscribe to Keemstar. You know, that was the joke, making it seem like Ke uh, Keemstar supports all that. And, you know, it was just a little joke. I, I didn't find it um, laugh out loud hilarious, but I thought it was just, I just got a chuckle out of it. I like dark humor like that. I'm a firm believer that you can joke about anything you want. There are no such thing as boundaries. None of that. Just joke about whatever you want. It's no. There's really no harm in, the, in doing that. Whatever. I don't care what the joke is. But I'm not just going to focus on the PewDiePie situation on this video. I want to talk about the mainstream media and how it's dying and how people are starting to open their eyes. This PewDiePie situation has opened even more eyes. Uh, about how the mainstream media likes to fabricate and lie about things and paint pe people uh, as of these horrible people when they've done really nothing wrong just because the the media just has a problem with, with them or what they say or if they get offended by a, a thing that person says they want to paint the person as this horrible, horrible person when they really did next to nothing wrong. And it's really sad, too, because I used to depend on them, on stuff that's going on in the world, like current events and stuff like that. I never watched the news all the time, but it was just, uh, whenever I just wanted to know what was going on in the world and stuff like that, i just flip on an, any news channel. It could be either plus something like ABC, CBS, or something like that, or maybe even my local news station. But ever since all this stuff has come out against the media on how they they make stuff up and fabricate things beyond belief. I just stopped believe I just stopped watching them altogether and I actually do more research if I want to find out if something's true or not. And it's really sad too, at least in this country that a lot of the news outlets fake things, make stuff up, fabricate things. It is really sad because again, I used to depend on them if I wanted to know what happened what happens in the world and stuff like that, and now I can't because you can't trust them. You can't trust anything they say. When I watch the news, I want the facts and nothing but the facts. Every time I hear the news, my family watches it. I don't actually put it on myself. Sometimes I'm interested in hearing what they have to say. And every time I hear the news, 99.9% .9 of the time, I hear this. Or something along these lines. Trump is evil. Trump is bad. Trump is evil. Trump is bad. Okay, I get it. He's not the best president ever. I'm not a Trump supporter, and I'm and I not and I don't think he's really evil either. I'm indifferent on him, but I'm not just going to blindly listen to them whenever something whenever Trump says something mean and they they spin it into something much worse than it really is, because whenever they talk about Trump or they complain about something he says. I usually look it up and and maybe they maybe he says it on cam maybe he says whatever they're complaining about on camera, and I I look, see for myself and try to see if maybe whatever he said really was that bad and if it wasn't well they're painted as liars once again, and again it's sad that I have to take everything they say with a grain of salt because usually the you should because here's how it should work. You should trust. You should be able to trust the news and know that everything they're reporting is factual and well researched, and they don't try to spin stories and make them seem either a lot better than what they are or a lot worse than what they are. And um, it's really refreshing to see that more and more people are starting to wake up to this. Even my friends at school are starting to see the, through the lies. They're around my age, maybe a little old. Well, some are a little older and some are a little younger, but most of them are able to see through the lies of the media. Most of the time, and most of them, at least um, a few weeks ago, actually, um, me and a group of friends were talking, and then one of my friends brought up Trump, and uh, they said, oh, did you hear about what Trump did, or what Trump said, whatever, and we were like, what happened now? And then she was like, oh, well, I was watching CNN the other day, and we are like, all right, <laughs> forget it, you don't need to explain any further, whatever. It's probably nothing that bad. <laughs> forget it, we don't want to hear anymore. <laughs> but anyways, um... Let me just bring up the PewDiePie thing for a little bit at the for the end of this video. The PewDiePie, this whole PewDiePie situation, 
um, really makes me think that the media is starting to be a little scared of the internet because they know the internet is starting to steal their thunder and people are turning to the internet for their news because they know they'll find some honest sources that doesn't fabricate news and doesn't make up lies. And they seem pretty self-aware that they're going on the decline, so they have to try their hardest to make people on the internet look as bad as possible. So they'll, so they'll be like, so they'll probably try to turn people away from the internet and think, oh, wow, the internet is such a horrible place filled with horrible people. You know what, I'm just going to stick with the usual mainstream news forever. And of course, the people watching this know the whole PewDiePie situation was fabricated and completely made up. But from an outsider's perspective, people who are not in touch with the YouTube community, people who probably never even went on YouTube or really know what the internet is, they're going to think, wow, this guy is really horrible. Uh, the internet is full of horrible people. And I don't know, maybe they have a kid or something. And, they're, and, they'll, be like, and they'll be like, I got to keep my kid away from the internet and, stop, and not have them be on it because they might, they might become anti-Semitic or something. And of course, that's just completely stupid, but again, from an outsider's perspective, they don't really know what's going on on the internet. They don't get the internet sense of humor. Anyone could say, like, the most cruel and horrible things, the most offensive thing you could think of, and they'll get away scot-free, and because there's really no consequence. What are people going to do? Like, <laughs> there's really nothing you can do about that. And that's pretty much what I love about the internet. You can do and say pretty much whatever you want. But anyway, they're trying to paint people like PewDiePie as bad as possible, as bad as they possibly can, because they are scared. They know that the internet is still is on the rise and is getting more and more popular, and more and more alternatives are coming up. And we're living in a day and age where we really don't need the mainstream media anymore, because, like I said a second ago, more and more alternatives are popping up, and people would rather go to those alternatives aside that are, are that are not the mainstream media and have no affiliation with them. Because people are starting to get sick and tired of them and sick and tired of being lied to and they want to actually find the truth and think for themselves and not just be force-fed whatever the media is feeding them. And don't be surprised if, if, they, if they start going on a smear campaign on a whole bunch of other YouTubers because, again, they're scared of YouTube. They're scared of people like PewDiePie because they're on the rise. You Like, mainstream media and Pretty much television in general is just on the decline. People don't care about them anymore. And they're most likely, like I'm 99% sure, that they're doing this just to steer people away from the internet because they know they're on the decline and the internet is on the rise. And people are starting to, sit, to just turn their backs on the media and move on, to the, uh, move on to other alternatives. So they're trying to make YouTubers and pretty much the internet in general seem like this horrible place and this really, really desperate effort to make it seem as bad as possible so people won't go on it. Well, too bad for you because people see through your lies and they know that everything you're saying is just completely out of your ass. So yeah, try again. <laughs> and even if you do try again, yeah, you're not going to succeed because people are smart enough to see through all of your lies. So, yeah, enjoy your enjoy your last few years mainstream media because I know you don't you're probably not even going to last that much longer and people like me won't miss you one bit. So anyways, that's all I have to say. Bye-bye.